Yo, before we start the video, I want to give a quick shout out to Goat Plug. If you want your badges maxed, hit them up. They'll max out your badges dummy fast. They also buy and sell accounts. So if you're interested, it'll be the first link in the description. Father. So, I'm back on here with another build, alright? This is my fourth build this year, I'm not even gonna lie. I got the shot creator I made first, I got the slasher playmaker, I got the two-way slasher playmaker. And then I got this build right here. Now, I'm not, I promise you, I'm not gonna be using my two-way slasher no more. It, I mean, it's a cool, fun build once in a while, but centers that I pick up don't know how to play with a two-way slashing, like, but they don't know how to play with it, alright? So, so, it's no point in me even using that build, it's, it's, it's done, alright? But this build right here... I made, everybody's talking about this build, but I made this build literally in the prelude, but it, it's like tweaked a little bit, alright? So basically, I may switch over to this build full time, only because it is literally better than my shot creator. The pie chart you want to pick is this one right here. I don't know how many it is down, it's the second one, it's the one with primary uh, shooting and finishing, alright? You see your ball handling is still at 82. So we're, you know, we're Gucci on that part, right? But look, always click the first physical pie chart. We want, You got 88 speed, you know what I'm saying? But look, all right, so a lot of people have different variations of this build, but this is the way I made my build, all right? So the only reason I say I may be switching over to this build is because the defense is the same. The only thing that's different is that he gets Hall of Fame slashing, like Hall of Fame finishing badges, and my player doesn't. It literally has almost the same, sp uh, the same stats as my shot creator. Like, same defense and all, but it literally has better uh, finishing, alright? So, basically, what I did, I, I made my close shot 90, I made my close layup 80, I made my driving layup 81, driving dunk maxed out, uh, didn't do anything else with that, so I get 15 finishing badges, and you can get them to Hall of Fame, alright? Mid-range, everything in here, free throw, all that, you want to max out, alright? You get 16 shooting badges. Now, that's really, in reality, that's really all you need. You don't really need that many shooting badges. I know because I have, like, 20, and I have, like, some left over from my uh, shot creator. So, next, passing accuracy up to 82, ball handling up to 82. Now, we will fix the 82 ball handling, obviously, later, because you still want to be able to speed boost as a guard. You don't want to, you know, be a slow dude sitting there left, right, and behind screens on the twos and stuff. And You don't want to do that. It's a bad look, all right? Um, and you won't be able to do that mean behind the back if you can't speed. And then I'm going to increase everything that I put up on the defense. So you need your outer quickness, perimeter defense, need your steal. Uh, my defensive rebounder was up there. And after you max out everything in the defensive category, you get eight rebounding and defensive uh, badges, whatever you want to call it. And then we have 32 left over, all right? So I'm not putting anything left in the finishing because you don't need that many finishing badges already. But, I mean, honestly, you do get them on the finish. It ain't gonna count. It's just kind of hard. But, all right. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit more shooting badges. And I'm gonna leave my shooting badges at 18, all right? Then, I'm gonna get to, like, 14 playmaking badges. Hold on, hold on. Let me see something. So, I have one left over. And then, that's how you do it, all right? So, now we have 15 finishing badges. We have 15 shooting badges. We have 15... I mean, 18 shooting badges. We have 15 playmaking badges. And then, we have 8... Defensive and rebounding badges. All right. Now you need this. These defensive badges, you need them because your player. I'll show you later. Your player is gonna be short. We're gonna make him six three. Everybody's making him six three, and that's the thing. I made my thing compact. Make him six three. The only reason I didn't make this build after the prelude, and it was called a scoring machine because I didn't have like I didn't tweak a little bit of some things, but. I didn't use this build after the prelude because he was 6'3". I didn't know, like, I was like, bro, I don't want a short player this year, right? I don't want to have a short player. Last year, short players were trash, you feel me? And my dude was 6'4". So if I made him 6'3", I was probably going to, I was thinking I'm getting, I'm getting punished. Like, I'm literally getting punished, all right? But you're still going to get punished on D, but it's not going to be as bad, you feel me? And he has eight defensive badges. That's literally the same thing as my shot creator. All right, so now the important thing right here, I'm going to show you, you see right everything you have right now. Finishing, you have close shot 90. Driving layup 87, driving dunk 82, and we can get that up to 85 or 80, uh, whatever, when you hit 98, 99. You got to realize, you got to take into account, you're hitting 99 on this shit, right? So, mid-range shot, 81, 83 point, free throw, nobody cares about that, post fade, I'm not doing that, alright? So, um, pass accuracy, 82, ball handling, 82, we will get it up to 85, and then when we hit like 96 or something, we'll be able to speed boost. And hopefully when you hit 99, 98, 99. All right, so for the weight, I made him 
170, you get your acceleration up, you get your speed up, your vertical is still at an 81, you feel me? Your strength goes down, but you're weak anyway, so there's no point in even having strength. Uh, 88 speed, which you can increase with the gym rat and the 99, whatever, after 95. And then my wingspan, I put it down to the minimum, right? So now we have an 83 three-pointer, an 85 mid-range, an 85 ball handling, right? And then, you feel me, this still goes down a little bit, but you, you know, you still got 74 steel. Now, the takeover. People have been saying that the sharp, the sharp shoot and takeover is a little bit better, and the playmaking better, uh, takeover is a little bit better. But I'm still going with shot creator, you feel me? Because when you're playing twos, you, you need to be able to shoot off the dribble. It's probably the best takeover in the game. Uh, slashing, I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to just go with shot creator. You can pick slasher. Slasher is really good for this build. And then a lot of people will leave you wide open. If they see you with an offensive threat, I don't know why they think this, but if they see you with an offensive threat, they will literally, with a slash and takeover, they will literally leave you wide open and not guard you. I don't understand why people do It's an offensive threat. That means everything on offense. Why are you leaving people open? It don't make sense. I played the 1v1 rush event. Bro, I ain't winning because I didn't have time to finish. But uh, I was like three wins in the day. Bro, everybody was leaving me open. And I was shot creator. What do you leave me over? I'm shooting. You feel me? So I'm going with shot creator anyway. But then right here, you see it says offensive threat. Now you see the similarities are Derrick Rose, Jamal Murray, D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell does not dunk like this. Jamal Murray don't get up like this. The only person who get up like this was D. Rose in his prime, and he was not shooting like this in his prime. You feel me? He was not. If anything, I would compare this build mainly to uh, Gilbert Arenas. Now I'm gonna show you all the badges that you want to have on this player because you can't get Hall of Fame uh, playmaking badges. But you can still be able to speed boost, all right? You want a contact finish, finish your Hall of Fame. Most important finishing badge in this game, all right? Then you want fancy footwork. I put that Hall of Fame. I put that gold. Let me. I'm going to put it down gold because I don't know how many uh, upgrades we'll have left. And then you want slithery finisher. I'll put that on gold. Giant slayer. I'll put that on gold. And then you want relentless finisher. I'll put that on silver. Relentless finisher helps you get a lot, like, a lot more contact dunks because you're not going to be tired after you're dribbling, all right? So that's it. For the uh, finishing badges right here, you got 15, you got one Hall of Fame, three gold, and then one, I put one on silver. Relentless finisher is not that important, but it is important, you know, if you want to save stamina and stuff. Because you're going to be tired, alright? So, for the badges, you can put your quick draw on gold. Always have range extender on Hall of Fame, you feel me? Always have that on Hall of Fame. You want green machine on gold or Hall of Fame. You want difficult shots. Uh, now, you see what I'm talking about right here, right? These are the main badges that you need. You don't really need difficult shots, but I put it on because I shoot a lot of moving shots, right? And it kind of helps. But, these are basically all you need. You don't need that many shooting badges, right? So, I put my quick, you can put one of these on Hall of Fame. Uh, you can put, you can get Deadeye. Um, and then you have two left over, so I would probably put it on Volume Shooter. And that's it for that. And then for the playmaking badges, you want this maxed out, you want this maxed out. Uh, you want tight handles, unpluckable. Um, you're not going to be using space, I mean, if you do use Space Creator, I mean, you can. Uh, let's see. You got one more slot. You don't really need anything else. I, I guess you could put ankle breaker or dimer. I really, I wouldn't really recommend anything else. You can either put ankle breaker or you could put needle threader. I mean, if you're a team player, you could put dimer, but needle threader is probably better than dimer because you can get a lot of passes through. But yeah, I'm gonna go with needle threader on this or ankle breaker, whatever. And then for the last category, the defensive and rebounding category, this is the best part because you get the same amount of defensive badges that you would get on a regular player, right? You're, a regular guard would have, if you're if you're smart, your guard build would have like eight badges, eight defensive badges, not five, not none of that. You're getting dogged on defense and stuff. But I put my clamps on uh, gold, Intimidator on silver. You don't need Intimidator like that. Intimidator is not that important of a badge. You do need it. I'm not saying you don't need it, but you like, it, it doesn't need to be on gold. So, I put my pig dodger on gold because you get hit by brick wall screens with a 6-3. You're getting bodied. So you're going to need pig dodge. That's important. And I'm going to tell you something. A lot of people, when you get hit by a screen, they literally just run into the screen. I'm giving you knowledge on how to play the game, right? So to not get bodied on D, on, on especially on twos, if somebody's setting a screen, bro, shade wherever the screen is going to. Like say if the center is setting a screen to the right, right? He sent a screen so his, play, so his guard could go to the right. You want to shade that side. And then the center will pick up on the left side. That's why I say I don't play with a lot of good centers because if they don't know that, that you need your center needs to help on the left side, right? Your center needs to help on the opposite side that you're shading on, right? So that's why a lot of people get bodied on D. And their teammate is, I mean, their center is just sitting in the paint for no reason. What are you sitting in the paint for, bro? I need you to hedge. I need you to 
do something, bro. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I gave you all my badges for this build. I will be using this build very soon, but I will, I promise you, I will not be giving 2K any more of my money. I already spent money on three builds, like 150. That's like 150, 200. I'm not doing it. It's not happening anymore. It's not, it's not happening. They don't care about this game. I don't care about this game. You feel me? Running 2K don't care. Yo, people out here wishing running 2K happy, but bro, screw that dude. He don't care about you. Why are you wishing this dude happy? That's weird. Come on, man. <laughs>